G'day everyone. I choose to stand in my knowledge and power. I choose to stand in my knowledge and power. So I'm running a brain power protocol on the scanner. And there's a couple of flower essences that I suspect will show up, but we don't know yet. I choose to stand in my knowledge and power. I choose to feel empowered throughout my life. I choose to embrace knowledge and education. I choose thinking over being told what to think. Okay, let's go have a look. Adrenal survival, deep survival. Okay, so there's a hidden deep survival pattern in there. Okay, so where is it? EMC, MMC, PVSS. So it's in the periventricular survival system. So I've got my little chart over here, but that's the sensory nervous system. Feeling totally overloaded. So we've seen too much, we've heard too much, we've felt too much, we've lost too much, we've cried too much, we've been angry too much. It's our sensory nervous system, total overload. And our sixth sense, our sixth senses, it's really high wired at the moment and it's paying attention and sometimes we just want to suppress the crap out of it because we don't want to know because it's just too much. Okay. So the first thing is the anterior cingulate gyrus. So this is that little part of our brain that picks on us when we don't behave perfectly under stress. So it's the part of the brain that wants us always to respond perfectly in crisis. It's the part of the brain that will pick on ourselves if we have an angry word or an emotional word to someone and then think, oh, and then you think about it for days or weeks afterwards. It's the part of the brain that picks on ourselves for not being optimal all the time. So then it makes us want to run away. So rather than wanting to go out there and be human and love and have friendships and, and enjoy laughter and friendships, it makes us go, no, don't want to borrow it. frontal cortex so this is the one where the brain is waiting for that logical creative information but when we get stuck in the survival stuff it keeps those thoughts going around and around and around and around in our brain mm -hmm. and it's really fear driving that I choose to be empowered I choose knowledge over fear I choose thinking over being told how to think. I choose not to be coerced. I choose not to be gaslit. Okay, now the subclossal gyrus is showing up. That's the one that has the genetic rage, anger, depression pathway. Okay, so that one also makes us want to run away, so it's escape, submission, freeze. Escape, submission, freeze. We need to run away. Or not being able to respond, because we're in that real frozen moment where you can't respond, you can't react, you can't come up with a solution or a response to something. That's blowing the sacral chakra. So the sacral chakra is our feminine and masculine energy, the seat of our sexual energy, which is about creation. That's about creating the world we want, creating the life we want, choosing the life we want, choosing to create the life we want, owning what we want. Have you done a list of your goals? Have you thought about what it is you want to do with your life? 
just thought of Twisted Sister from the 1980s. What do you want to do with your life? Now we're, now we're heading into the reticular activating system. Okay, so low serotonin. Increasing serotonin, oxytocin, dopamine, feel-good hormones. Increasing our feel-good hormones. Increasing our feel-good hormones. So something about that has really messed with our, uh, okay, so we say depression or anger. Right, so the lack of serotonin is messing with our anger. So being, so when we have a low serotonin level, we're more likely to get frustrated and angry and uh, filled with rage because serotonin is calming and nurturing and allows us to be okay. <laughs> So when we don't feel okay, when we don't feel supported, when we don't feel loved and happy and appreciated, we're going to feel pissed off and angry in the background. So we just want to increase our serotonin and calm down that anger. Because that real vigilance, you know, sometimes anger is the main emotion that comes out when we're feeling stressed. Especially when we're not good at speaking our truth. How do you feel when you're speaking your truth? Does it feel amazing? Does it feel freeing and give you a sense of, yes, I deserve to be here on the planet. I deserve to be heard. I deserve to be happy, healthy and well walking through life. Okay, there's another RAS circuit. So this one's noradrenaline, expectation of long-term stress, also creating some vigilance in the nervous system. So calming the long-term stress, allowing peace in this now moment, allowing calm in this now moment, allowing access to breathing in this now moment. Allowing access to positivity in this now moment. Life is good, life is good, life is good. 999999999. Ah, okay. There's some trust going on in there. So when we have been gaslit in the past with relationships, when we have been lied to in the past with relationships, when we have, have been uh, coerced in the past with relationships, it doesn't make trust easy moving forward. But first and foremost, you need to trust yourself. Being adults, we have the choice how we move forward in life. So I choose to trust myself in this now moment. I choose to trust myself in this now moment. I choose to trust myself in this now moment. So that's linking in with an old pain and punishment circuit, circuit where the brain goes, uh, 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 you don't deserve to be trusted. So we need to calm that down so we can move forward in safety, in health. Then rip and lip. So rip and lip are the little um, integration areas behind the ears. No, it's obviously in the brain. That's just the access point. But that's to do with everything we're hearing, everything we're seeing, whether we lay it down in the happy parts of the brain or the stressed parts of the brain or the fearful parts of the brain. So much information 
for the last few years and, and of course in our lifetimes, how do we reconcile all of that so that we can let it go and move forward in safety, health, peace and love? Owning the choices we've made, moving forward with knowledge, moving forward with peace with the decisions we've made. If we've made decisions, we've made them with the best knowledge we have at the time. Okay. Okay. So I move forward with peace and love in my heart. I move forward willing to learn, willing to believe, willing to live in my own sovereignty. I move forward as a human being on the planet. I move forward with humanity, love and peace. Okay, thank you very much. I uh, needed that one as much as everyone, of course. Hope you all have a spectacular day. Take care.